The men's 200 metres butterfly final begins at the Swimming World Cup in Berlin. The first World Cup event of 2022, a packed couple of weeks are coming up, and Noah Ponty is in the lead at the turnover, Chad Leclerc of South Africa. So it is lane four, Ponty, and then lane six, Leclerc. Looking very good at the moment is Ponty, over Leclerc with Wang Quan Hung of Chinese Taipei in third position. Leclerc really was so impressive yesterday. He's just drifted away a bit now as Hungary's uh, Richard Martin has come into third position. Wang Quan Hung in second place. No Ponty still leading this. Halfway mark of the race, not anymore. Wang has moved ahead of Ponty. Martin still in third position, but this is where Wang Quan Hung of Chinese Taipei is starting to exert his control over the race. It's asking questions now of Noah Ponty, the youngster from Switzerland. The gap grows to over half a second. Martin now is a 0.83 behind the lead, still in third position. Really is these three now who are absolutely ahead of the rest of the pack. Leclerc has come through, though, in third position. That was impressive from Leclerc, coming up from sixth into third over the last 25 metres. So now they go to the wall for the last turn. And it's Leclerc who's very close in this one. He's got it to half a second back. One, then Ponty. Chad Leclerc finishing strongly, finishing really strongly. All attention on Chad Leclerc. What about this for a turnaround from Chad Leclerc of South Africa ahead of Ponty. And one Quan Hung in the end takes third position. But that is outrageous from Chad Leclerc. A stunning finish from him. He was fifth after 75 metres, and indeed after 100 metres. He dropped down to sixth place after 125 metres. He was third at the final turn, and then he's won it. Oh, stop now. That's just silly. Let's enjoy this again. Poor old Noah Ponty. He did everything right. Just uh, very steadily held at second place throughout the race. But Wang Quan Hung dropping down, having led most of it into third place at the end. Had a tricky last 25 metres, whereas Chad Leclerc was absolutely flying. And what a way to conclude the racing. Finals of the men's 200 butterfly underway here in Indianapolis. Good break out there in lane five. Chad Leclerc. Leclerc knows where he needs to be in this race this time. They come down. Finishing off the first 50. And Julian out front, lane four, 24.44. Temple second in lane one for Australia. Chad Leclerc pulling away from the rest of the field. Trent Julian out front, 52.09 ahead of Leclerc, 52.78. He's about seven tenths ahead of Leclerc. 75 meters to go in this race. Sometimes the flow, even if he's uh, back off first place, this is where he explodes. Julian turning there, 120 41, about a body length between them. The flow at the turn, 121 59. And the flow is closing the gap. And there's the turn. And Julian is underway. There's the flow with a strong turn in his underwater pull. And now they're racing down here to the finish. Let's see who's going to take the 200 butterfly for men here in Indianapolis. And it's Chad LeClow who gets it done in a time of 149.89. Uh, step ball off the lane line. He took all he had to take the final event. LeClow 
And then Julian second, the time of 150.08. Karun third, the time of 151.70. The close still looking up at the board. See his time, see how he's separated from the rest of the field. Big smile on his face. There we had Trent out in front there on the turn. But here comes Laclo as he starts to wind him in. Looks insurmountable at that point. But Laclo just drives it down to the finish. a good look at the touch by Laclo. It looks like he took a little short stroke there at the end and still got on the wall first. Little chop stroke there by Laclo and still got the job done. There you are, your final results here in the men's 200 butterfly final in Indianapolis. Wow, 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 Chats. What a way to finish night two, right to the 